Hey everyone, it's Kiosh coming at you today with another video as I do something to my hair because I just woke up and I said, honey, you're coming to work. <laughs> I did not do nothing to my hair. My hair was looking crazy. So I said, let me go ahead and um do something to my hair before the client comes. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, honey? Before I get started with the video, please do one thing for me. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are subscribing, you've been subscribed. Thank you so much, friend. It means the world to me. Today, we're going to be doing a silk press, some color. Silk press is some color only, not a cut, maybe a trim. My client, I've been doing her hair, literally, I've been doing her hair now for, I believe like five years now. Um, I love my client to death. She just let me do what I want. She just let me have all my creative juices. And this color is a process we've been doing. I mean, her hair's healthy, her hair's not falling out. Her hair's amazing and healthy, okay? It's not brittle, it's not falling off or anything at all. You know, at the end of the day, I choose to I'm not the type of stylist that you say, oh, I want bleach and I'm just going to bleach your hair. I have to know that, you know, you can take care of your hair. And definitely with this client, you know, she does not do nothing else to her hair besides what I do. And if she does do something else, it's just braids in between. And that is all. I'm the only one that does her hair outside of braids. Period. So therefore, I um, mean, at the end of the day, she does everything that she needs to do to her hair. So color is okay. Bleaching is okay. Lifting the hair is okay as long as it's done right and as long as you take care of the hair. So let me go ahead. Um, honey, I've been using this mousse. I don't really like it. I'm trying to use it up. I look how much I've used of it. I don't like it. No, I got it. So, um, so yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing good and all that good stuff. Good. So here you guys, um, let me let you guys go so you can see this video. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Who? Now I look like something, honey. I love you guys so much. Um, consider subscribing to my channel if you're not subscribed. Like, share, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And stay tuned for the video, darling. So this is her hair prior to the new color that I gave her. Now she is warm. She is in the honey side. I want to bring her more to the frosted, more towards the... You'll see. Two things that ended up happening. One being, honey, as you can see, I'm out of frame. I'm out of focus. The camera, honey, I don't know what was going on with the angles, but they were not cooperating. And another thing, too, I had ran out of foil. But the order came in two days after her appointment. So the sheets are right now looking at me right here, honey. The color sheets, darling. Okay. So next time you see me do some color, I will have the color sheets. But one thing about my toothpicks for sure, I'll make anything work. So honey, who? Improvise, darling. Improvisation, honey. Improvise. So I am using a 20 developer. I'm not using 30, 40, 50. No, ma'am. There's no need for all of that. However, I gave her a, a golden... And now I want to take her more to frosted. I want to have some gold in there, but I also want to have some frosted in there. Now, as you can see, we got different shades of blonde, and that's the look I was going for. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply this leave-in conditioner. I'm going to apply it in my hand just because I wanted to distribute it through the hair better. And I think, you know, for her hair and for this occasion, that's how I chose to apply it. Okay, so that is what I'm applying to hair. It smells amazing. Really, 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 really good. And I'm going to also apply this oil. Now, this oil is mostly going in the blonde area. And now I'm going to take this mousse. Just because I want her hair to hold the curl a little bit. So I'm going to take the mousse and apply it mostly on the ends. Now, this mousse, I did not like it. But because I own it, I'm going to use it because I don't let no money go to waste. Okay, and that's just that on that. Now, once the hair is dry, that's when you can see the beauty of the color. And I'm going to show you a clip of it in a second. But before that, we've roller set in the hair. You know I love roller setting the hair. Roller setting hair is amazing. It helps out so much. It's so healthy for the hair. I love it. Look at the color in the rollers. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to apply this just because her hair, I just want her hair to have volume. I want her hair to look voluptuous. I want her hair to look full. And I'm applying this right here where the color is at. Okay get into it now i don't know about your stylist friend but i care about my client's ears so i put an ear cover to make sure the ears are good set her for 33 minutes under the dryer set her and forget her she come out the dryer i'm putting some of this around the nape honey the kitchen er to get the hair you know nice and straight so i could grip it so i get that hair straight and nice and you know hook her up honey hook the kitchen up darling 
this basically just helps me give that hair around the kitchen the extra push, the extra stretch. So when I flat iron it, I can really get in there and really get it, okay? And now at this point, it's just blow drying her hair. Now her hair all around the back and the sides is her natural hair color. She just has the hair color on the top. We were going to give her highlights through her whole hair, you know, so we could still have more dimensions, but we just chose, or I just chose, just to do it on the top and just give her more of a frosty look, okay? So again, before somebody says, oh my God, there's a lot of snow. It's a lot of product in there. You, you guys saw how much I put in there, friend, okay? And look at the hair. Look at the color. And I'm going to get even closer so you can see a better view of how beautiful this color looks. It looks even better in person. And I'm basically emphasizing most of the heat on the roots. The ends, I'm not really doing too much to the ends because I want the ends to have more life in them. I don't not want to make them just bone straight, okay? Now, I'm going to show you the clip right now of the hair. Now, look at this. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. It's coming up. It's coming up. Hold on. Now look, look at the color, look at the dimension. Come on, friend, just for this, honey, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, you're not subscribing, all that good stuff, honey. Look at that hair, honey. Now at this point, I am flat ironing the hair. Do you see how much easier it is now for me to grip the kitchen, okay? And get all that hair around there just nice and silky smooth, okay? Get all the hair, all the perimeters of the head needs to be silky. Nutmeg ganache. <laughs> and I love, absolutely enjoy and love my client. Like, she just lets me do whatever I want. And I just love that because I think that that just lets me be more artistic and just let me just hook her up, okay? Hook her up to the hookups. Now, another thing, too, which you really cannot notice, so I decided to make it more noticeable in this video. When I am flat iron her hair with the fresh flat iron, I'm hitting the roots. However, when it comes down to the ends, I'm not really hitting it. Now, when I was doing the bottom piece, I just kind of opened the flat iron some, but you really couldn't see. So now I just decided to show you, show you. Just because I want her hair to have more body. So I'm not really just going ahead and just making the hair bone straight from the roots to the end. I'm leaving the ends with more texture. And look at the curl. Look at the curls. Frank. Now, you know what, friend? Look, look, look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the curl, how nice. Okay. Now, do you see why she loves me? Look, let's let it go. What you say? Now, this is why she loves me. And this is why she comes back and be coming to me for five years, honey. How you doing? Five years and counting, honey. When you come to me more than one time, honey, at that point, it's no longer your hair. It's our hair. So my job is just to make sure your hair is as healthy, as beautiful, as manageable, as long, as luscious, as luxurious as it can be. And then some, honey. That's the type of beautician I am. It's not about the money. It's about the relationship. And it's about doing what you love and making sure you do a good job at it. Okay? Look at the hair. Look at the color, girl. Frank. Honey, let me just give you a moment just to observe it, honey. Observe, honey. Observe. Honey, doing this hair makes me want to get some color, honey. I want some color, honey. I absolutely love this hair color. I absolutely love the colors in her hair. Her hair is absolutely healthy, and I'm going to show you so nobody comes for me. Look. Look. Oh, thank you. Okay, I love you guys so much. Look at the hair. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of the support. I'll leave all my social media down below. I love you guys so much. and see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.